Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing Top Safe Blind Buys perfume. I decided to just pick 17 of them out of all of these. So if you want to know what the safest blind buy perfume in my collection, please stay tuned. I reached a thousand subscriber. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below where you want the the gift to be shipped to. You'll be receiving 5 ml decants that's in this exact container of Mancera Rosa's Vanille, Delina Exclusive, and Victor and Rolf Magic Dancing Roses. If you want to know more about this perfume, I'm going to link to the video where I talk about them in the description box below. So these are my top 17 perfume blind buys that I highly recommend. So number 17, Mancera Rosas Vanille. I did a test of five Mancera perfume. In general, Mancera performs really, really great. They projects and they're super long lasting. I actually really adore this one. Out of all the Mancera that I've tested, in my opinion, this is one of the best ones. So I do recommend this. The reason why it falls for number 17 is because it has this plasticky notes um, that you kind of have to get used to. But overall, I think this is a great blind buy. Number 16 is a Guerlain Mon Guerlain. This is the Eau de Toilette. I find that this is quite a safe blind buy because this is a citrus, powdery, floral, lavender, vanilla perfume. Um, it's a must pleasing. It's very classy. It's very feminine. It's really affordable. Right now it's very discounted because they're discontinuing this one. I think it's really easy reach for summer and performance is not bad. This one actually performed better than the EDP. This one on me lasts about six hours and it is a soft to moderate projection. Overall, this is a safe blind buy and this is a good one. It's from the House of Guerlain. Prada Candy um, Gloss. I really enjoy this. I got this from my Ross shopping trip. It is quite long lasting. It's about six hours. I think it's decent for Prada Candy line. Uh, projection is soft to moderate. Overall, it's really, really beautiful cherry, almond, vanilla scent. This one actually reminds me or have similar vibe as Tom Ford Lost Cherry and it's at much, 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 much affordable price. The reason why this one falls under number 15 is because I find myself not reaching over a cherry and I have to be in a certain mood to pick up this one. And because of that, this one falls for number 15. Number 14, Pacifica Island Vanilla, sold in Target. You could find this for $22 retail for 30 mils. It's very affordable. It's a simple, solly notes kind of perfume vibe. It has vanilla, honey, and fruit notes. It gives a very happy vanilla gourmet vibe. I think this is a safe blind buy. I reached for this one quite a bit, especially in the summer. This is one of the vanilla that I find safe to pick up during summer month because it has this colder vibe. And yeah, for some reason, I don't feel like I'm burning hot, even though outside temperature is greater than 90 degree Fahrenheit. Performance is okay. In the, my last video, I said it's about four hours, but that's when I overspray. It will last about two hours, uh, realistically. It is a soft to moderate projection. This is overall a simple vanilla, a staple in your collection. Overall, I think this is quite a safe blind buy and I do recommend this. The next one that I thought is a safe blind buy is Zara Ritual Addictive. My cap came deformed from the manufacturer, but I don't care. 
Um, yeah, so this is a beautiful honey tobacco coconut perfume. Overall, this is very, very pleasant. It does project uh, moderately. It projects like an arm length and it doesn't last longer than about three hours. It's quite difficult to dislike this. Oh, and Zara perfume is also very inexpensive. It costs about $25 from the website. I'm going to link down below. It is overall really, really nice. Um, it has that niche quality to it. I really enjoy it and I highly recommend Zara Rich Mom Addictive. Okay, next one in my collection that I thought it's a save blind buy is Paco Rabanne Olympia. This is a classic. It's vanilla, salt, and jasmine. Yeah, everybody likes it. There are tons of flankers. I still think that original is the best. In my other video where men decide which perfume is sexy, my friend ended up really, really liking this one. And this one was scored number two or three. I don't recall. It has ambergris, so by default, that makes this perfume quite long-lasting. Projection is about an arm length. It's moderate. It could be heavy if you overspray. It is super long lasting, but then the strength of it died. The projection died after about four hours, and it becomes a quite a soft skin scent. And that's the reason why I use this quite a bit because I do have to keep reapplying myself throughout the day. But overall, it's really hard to dislike this Paco Rabanne Olympia. So yeah. This is Ariana Grande Cloud. I find that if you sniff Ariana Grande Cloud from the bottle nozzle, it's really, really similar to Baccarat Roots 540. This is a gourmand, happier, cheaper version of Baccarat Roots 540. Uh, by no means this is a dupe. I think they're completely different scent, but Ariana Grande Cloud stand on its own, and I am really impressed with the scent of this one. Longevity is about five hours on my skin. It lasts four weeks on my clothing. It projects it could fill up the room if you overspray. You might get anosmic to it, but I assure you that everybody in the room could smell you when you put this on. Super affordable, and that's why this one is in my safe blind buy. Number 10 perfume is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. This is a coffee, vanilla, gourmand, really sexy date night perfume. This is designed for winter only. A projection is heavy. Longevity is 10 hours. This is one of the heavy hitters. Um, I find myself reaching for this even during summer. I just don't spray it all over. I just put a little bit of it on my wrist and sniff it throughout the day. Yeah, I think it's quite hard to dislike this one except for the price and because of the price that's why Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme is ranked number 10. Number 9 Alien or Sublime. This is an easier to wear version of Alien during summer especially. Alien original it has this cold piercing scent at the beginning of it when you spray it. Um, some people mind it more than the other. This Alien or Sublime take care of that problem. Beginning, they put on a citrus note, and then the citrus note quickly disappeared after 30 minutes. Um, yeah, so after 30 minutes, I can't really tell the difference between this one versus the original, but it makes it easier for me to reach for it, and therefore, I think this is a safer blind buy compared to the original Alien. The only drawback of Alien or Sublime compared to the original is that this one lasts on me about 6 hours, whereas the original Alien lasts 10 to 12 hours. Projection is about the same. I think this one projects less compared to the original Alien, but in the grand scheme of things, it's about the same. All right, so number eight in my collection that is a safe blind buy is Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud. This one's Projection Monster, super duper long lasting, it's about 10 to 12 hours. It's a beautiful rose oud saffron perfume. This is a dupe for Lancome Oud Bouquet. Um, 
the reason why this is number eight is because I find myself not reaching for this as much because it's such a beast mode perfume. Um, this one takes over and then sets your mood throughout the day once you put it on. But overall, this is an addictive perfume. Overall, this is a safe blind buy. It's quite affordable compared to Lancome Oud Bouquet and compared to the other good rose oud perfume that's in the market. If you know any other rose oud perfume that's good, that's affordable, please leave a comment down below so that I could explore it. Number seven is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue All Intense. This is a beautiful apple lemon musk Dolce Gabbana Light Blue DNA perfume. Um, it starts off with mandarin orange cocktail juice to my nose and as it dries down an, an hour two hours later you could smell the light blue DNA coming through so overall this is quite a safe blind buy it's, it's really hard not to like this perfume this is in a lot of people summer favorite perfume the reason is because this is one of the best citrus perfume that's long lasting in the summer the rest of the citrus perfume that i've tried they don't last quite long or it opens up to beautiful citrus scent and then as it dries down the citrus quickly disappeared and something else weird left remain in the perfume and you have to spray over and over again so projection is great this one projects an arm length and it lasts about eight hours on me so yeah, this is overall a really good buy and certainly it is a safe blind buy. Yeah, number six, this is Kenzo Flower Elixir. This is a raspberry powdery gourmand perfume. This smells like Prada candy, except it's way sexier, it's way more sensual, it projects way more, it lasts way longer, it smells like a date night product candy i i think it's really hard to not like this kenzo flower elixir unless if you don't like sweet or gourmand perfume but if you do that chances are you probably won't be watching my channel because i do have a lot of sweet gourmand perfume longevity is eight hours it projects moderate it could be heavy if you overspray. Yeah, overall, it's really hard to dislike this one. I absolutely love it. This is Jean Paul Gaultier Label. I love this one. It's extremely addictive. This is a three note perfume. This is pear, vanilla, and fetifer. It's sour and sweet and vanilla y. Yeah, if you want to know more about it, you could watch my review. I'm going to link here. Right now I do love it and I do reach for this quite a lot. It's really hard to dislike La Belle. I think overall it's a quite a safe perfume blind buy. Number four, Delina exclusive. This is absolutely beautiful. It smells like rose syrup and a baklava with nutmeg ice cream on the side. It's beautiful beautiful gourmand perfume it's extremely addictive this is my scent of the day i absolutely love it yeah men love this one so much um, they find this to be very intoxicating for them underneath all of this beautiful pretty feminine innocent perfume she's actually quite sensual it has this musk that is quite sensual in my opinion oh and this one projects and it lasts about six to eight hours on my skin projection is about uh, arm length and the reason why this is number four is because the the price is rather expensive but i think it's worth every penny it's just that it's rather expensive so it's not so safe of a blind buy number three armani privé rouge malachite this is such a beautiful jasmine tuberose coconut perfume overall this smells like alien tuberose with suntan lotion 
it's such a creamy alien it has a little bit of spice it's super sexy and sensual it lasted about eight hours and it projects moderate yeah i really really enjoy this and i think this is such a safe blind buy the only cons why this one's ranking number three is because it is quite an expensive perfume all right so number two Alien Essence Absolute. This is such a beautiful perfume. Um, it's alien with Play-Doh. Sometimes I smell root beer as well. It's really pleasant smelling. It's extremely addictive. I also smell a little bit of a Dior Hypnotic Poison in here. So it smells like alien and it smells like a baby of alien and Dior Hypnotic Poison. It's just overall really, really nice. The only drawback is that this one is discontinued so it's really hard to find it yep it's unfortunate but it's really nice so number one the best perfume blind buys that i have in my collection so far is swiss arabian casablanca oh my god this one is so good it smells like apple juice and vanilla it's beautiful it's long lasting it projects moderately within arm length. It lasts more than 10, 10 hours on my skin. It is affordable. You could find it for $50 for this 100 mils. And it performs better than most designer perfume. This one could compete with the other more expensive perfume that I have in my collection. So yeah, I think this is the safest blind buy. I, it's really hard to dislike this perfume if you bl blind buy it. But keep in mind that this is a simple vanilla apple juice scent. I reach for it a lot and it's good for layering. It's just really hard to mess this one up. So yeah, that's it. Those are my 17 pick out of everything that you see on the table right here. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.